Hi guys, in this video I want to show you how to simulate a, a simple PV solar panel and uh, how to plot the EV characteristic of a solar panel. And uh, then I will also explain how to model the uh, shading effect with a simple model. So basically the curve in which we want to which we want to study is something of the sort. This is this is called the the PV characteristics, and this point here is called the MPPT, in which the point and the current, it is not represented, but the current EV will be something of the sort. Yeah, maybe a bit little translated here. So, first step, we want to have a model for these characteristics. So, let's draw a current source. We, we will suppose that this panel is not shaded, and so we will, for instance, have 10 amps of, of current. Then we will use the uh, uh, almost reasonable model for a sonar panel. There are, this, there are different models. I will use the, the model of five elements with the diode. The parallel resistor. Let's put 10 kilo ohms. The series resistor, let's put 0 0.4, 0 0.4 milliohms, and the parallel capacitance. Let's put it 0 0.0.1 0 .1 micro. Anyway. So now you want to put a variable load at the output, and to do this, you uh, sorry, a, a variable voltage on the output. To do this, you just use the command uh, dot dc v1, just put it there, and a window will appear. So the set value is 0, and the stop value is uh, uh, 0 0.87, because it is a reasonable open voltage for solar panels. And you want to put a reasonable increment to see uh, a beautiful graph. So now you want also to call this node the output node, and you also and you also want uh, to plot the power. So let's see how you can do that. You can do it in different ways. I will use the behavior voltage just for simplicity. And let's write V D out times E D V1. So uh, this will be our power. Uh, so let's run the simulation and uh, let's see the current and the power. So as you can see, let's uh, zoom it here. No, uh, no, sorry. So as you can see, uh, this is more or less uh, what we expected in the PV characteristic also with the current. So you can see in the green there is the current which will decrease after in um, after 784 volts 7708 volts because this is the basically uh, of the forward junction of the diode and then the this is the the power by the way you can also plot the power just by clicking alt and the right and the left click on in the voltage generator you will you will obtain always the power but i prefer to have the power plotted right there uh, so this is the maximum power point called also MPPT. Now in LTSPICE there are some graphs, some points that, that, in which you want to remember exactly. And so you, what you can do is to zoom to individ manually this uh, um, the power here. And once you do, right click and uh, on uh, view and click on uh, draw and the cursor position. So now if you draw, if you zoom to fit, you can see, now let's put just F8 and let's put it. You can see that at this point, the maximum power point is 70, uh, it's a 77 .7 volts. So now what we want to do is to simulate the shading effect and to obtain a power voltage curve like, uh, like shown in this plot here. So we will expect to have two kinds of peaks, one global peak and the other a local peak. And the second peak 
Naturally, it depends on the shaded module. So the higher the, the shadow and the lower the power will be. So as you can see also in, uh, in, in this graph, there will be a critical point for the shading heaviness. So let's model the, the shading effect. How you can do that? Um, let's suppose that we have two cells, or even more than two cells, and one shell is, is shaded. So this is the first cell, and this is... Let me connect the, the other cell in series. So let's replicate this cell here. By the way, you have to cancel the ground. Uh, and now let's connect the cell to the output. Ah, don't do this. Okay, so now we have two cells, fully operating cells. Now let's suppose that one cell is is shading, and if you uh, if you have a cell which is which is shading by the sun or by the sorry by the sun by uh, by an object, he will of course uh, produce less current than uh, the amount current rated. So, so for instance, one amp. And if you connect this to the output, you will discover a terrible truth. So let's connect here to the output and let's run again the simulation. Ah, by the way, you have to increase this to 1.75. So it is not what we expect. So it is not something that we, we expect. Because when, in order to prevent this effect, you have to put the so-called bypass diode. So between a cell and another, you have to put a diode in order to exactly right there, where I'm drawing, in order to prevent the bypass, in order to prevent the shading effect or to minimize the shading effect. So when this, this cell is, is shading, so it is unbalanced, most of the current will flow to this bypass diode. So let's pick a let's pick a shotkey diode for this purpose. There, there are several papers that uh, show this uh, this effect, and let's run again the simulation. So by the way, you have to pick a proper diode. Naturally. Uh, the, naturally, those curves depends on uh, what diode you are going to take. So let me take a, a good diode with a current average at least uh, 5 amps. This should be enough. Uh, okay, now let's... Uh, Run the power and the current, and let's see what happens. Okay, so now you can understand exactly what's going on. So, uh, first, you have the. Um, so as you can see, it is more or less what we are going, what we expected here, and the the height of this uh, of this uh, local peak uh, of this uh, local uh, yes of this local peak uh, depends on the, how much the module is shaded. In my example, I have uh, in my example also thanks to the bypass diode, I have the the um, the, the peak the, the first peak is higher than the second. So as you can see, at that at this point when the shading takes effect, you start to have a a constant current, which is which is basically, if I check, it should be around one ampere, because the because it 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 starts to take into action the other cell which I which I uh, wrote here as one amp. So you have two. So you have two contributes. In the first, you have ten amps, and the second contributes you have one amp. And this will cause two peaks, two global peaks, in the, the in the power, 
which you can see it, it, it is the, the green curve. So now as it as now as you can see I will change the diode and by changing the diode sh the, the shot key diode these two will change. Uh, uh, this is, by the, by the way, this is an ex uh, unexpected. Uh, I, 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 I think that this is more than a bug. In, in the, this, this is probably a, a bug in, in the current. I honestly don't expect something like this, but still, the power remains the same. Uh, you can also add the, the so-called blocking diode in between one cell and the other. By the way, let's pick the the previous diode because I, I don't want I don't want that bug. Mm. Okay, now this is better. <laughs> so let's also put the blocking diode between one cell and the other. Ah, by the way, this is just like, like this. Yeah. Blocking diode are not so used, by the way, but you can also use this blocking diode to prevent the reverse voltage if you, if, if it is needed. So, if we check the pre but if we check the previous characteristics, I think that we obtained what we what we really expected. See you in next video, guys.